Hello guys, this is a little ditty from the East End of London that I hope you like. It's called The Sherebank Trip. Ready? Down in the East End you'll find Acne, where I lived when I was a lad. In an house with me mum, two sisters and grand, one brother, a budgie and dad. At the end of our street was a boozer, black as stout, uninviting and glum. A den of depravity, it stank like a lavatory. It was where me dad went to hide from me mum. At the end of the bar in a bottle, every week half a dollar each slip. For the annual treat, when the kids in the street went to the coast on a charabank trip. We'd set off in the morning from Acne, en route to South End on Sea. With the holiday club, them as paid up their sub, off the street and me brother and me. There was old Mrs. Brow from the chip shop, Big Doris at whom all men made passes, and her sister Ellen with a bust like two melons and a face like an arsehole with glasses. There was perfume Gordon the hairdresser and nobody did make it clear why a rude boy called Taylor cried out, Hello sailor, and something about ginger beer. There was desperate Derek, his brother Big Eric. There was Basher and Masher and Hutch. And Lil, who was willing for only a shilling, which was still about tenpence too much. There was Mavis who wouldn't, because her mum said she shouldn't. There was Neville who wished that he could. And then there was Heather, who said that she'd never, but looked like she probably would. Well, me dad took a crate of ale with him intending to travel in style. The Shara Bank did 25 miles to the gallon. Me dad did half a pint to the mile. The rain was chucking it down, leaving Acne. Through East London, it did not desist. There were cows with bronchitis and wet sheep to invite us when Essex loomed up through the mist. The rain slackened off soon to a medium monsoon and the day didn't look such a blacken. When the driver, called Reg, pulled up by an edge and we all made a dash for the bracken. Dad rushed to a tree and he said, excuse me, and right there a penny he spent it. He said, ain't it queer, there's one thing about beer, you don't really buy it, you rent it. Well, this idyllic scene amidst the nettles and steam was soon torn by me brother's plaintive cries. The poor little nibber caught his dong in his zipper. He was dancing with tears in his eyes. Then back onto the coach off to South End. We got there cool, the weather was grand. And we gazed on the sea, cold, the colour of tea. And smelt candy floss, dodgems and sand. There were shops full of rock. There were rats with rude slogans. There was music and cries of hilarity. There was games on the sand. There were jelly deal stands and souvenir shops packed with vulgarity. My brother ran down to the ocean, his brother his intention the water to reach, for his foot had just thrust in something disgusting a donkey had left on the beach. The sea was as cold as a polar bear's dick. We watched Punch kill the crocodile dead, and after throwing some sand at the Sally Army band, we went off to the fun fair instead. There was a ride called the Comet, made you scream, faint and vomit. Half Devon you hung upside down. And the last bit, a spinner, brought up the rest of your dinner. Not bad, you know, for just half a crown. There were postcards with fat women, nudists and Scotsmen, honeymooners and dirty weekenders. And in a machine, what the butler had seen, dimly flickered about in suspenders. We ate cobbles and whelks and big wingles, soggy chips, toffee apples like glue. The hot dogs were funny and something like rude, wrapped in onions, but we ate them and peas put in two. Then we went on the dodgems and walser and big dipper that rises and falls. It was on this machine that my brother turned green and his eyes stood out like bulldogs bulls. The poor little chap, he was sick in his cap. It was his best one and he started to cry. So not wishing to spoil it, we swilled it in the toilet and he wore it until it was dry. 
my dad full of beer said let's walk up the pier so we did and it took us a while I asked why is it here dad replied it's quite clear the reason just sticks out a mile then the driver found us and said back to the bus through the dark we ran back the old way candy floss in our air but we didn't care God, we had such a wonderful day in this in the dim orange glow of the coach light so low, calling couples were billing and cooing, hoping perhaps that the coats and their laps would conceal the rude things they were doing. We pulled up in our street about half past eleven. There was Mum and our grandma stood by. They gazed in admiration at the plaster Alsatian we'd won from at the coconut shy. I drank up my cocoa, I ate up my sandwich, and soon in bed I was curled. I was dreaming a dream, I was leading a team on the first Sharabank trip round the world. Yes, those things that I did when I was a kid, although they were simple and small. Now I'm grown up, I find I look back in my mind, I'm sure they were the best times of all. Cause I've been to Mioga and called as a Koga. I've been to Pompeii and Erica Lenaeum. The French Riviera, where the ladies are bearer. I've even paddled in the Mediterranean. I drank various vinos in Torremolinos, but of all these I can tell you for free. There's none can compete with the Sharabank tree with me brother to South End on Sea. Thank you very much, me old China. Bye.